Vanessa Redgrave there sharing some of her memories where well, we can speak to the actress Linda Thorson who succeeded Diana Rigg on The Avengers. It is lovely to see you. Our condolences. Just talk us through your experiences, how you first met Dame Diana. Well, I think quite famously we know that we met on the staircase of the set of The Avengers when she um, let me know uh, that Patrick liked his tea stirred anti-clockwise and uh, of course it was a sad day for everyone everyone on the set um, because Diana was leaving um, but it was a happy day for me. Um, look let me just say Diana was an amazing woman. She lived life to the full. She went through a lot of shit. She is going to remain as a great actress. She was a great actress and um, life is so unpredictable. Honor was 93, Diana was 83, I'm 73. So I just believe that Rachel tonight, we should think of her, her daughter. And the fact that Diana brought great joy to everybody at the National Theatre. I first saw her in jumpers when I was a young person and have admired her ever since. Ever since, it's so sad that she's gone. And um, we will miss her and never, never forget her. She was powerful and strong. And, um, and, and I think that's what we need to learn, that actresses go through a lot of ups and downs and she survived them all. And it's not easy, is it, as a, as a young actress breaking through? It's a tough time, but you all did it with such incredible characters, such strong women that you portrayed on, on, on the screens and on stage. Well, and Diana had been at the Royal Shakespeare Company, of course, before she got the part of Emma Peel. So she had quite a, a, a great background. And um, when she wanted to leave, she knew it was time to leave. And of course, she had this magnificent um, last moment with Game of Thrones, which she won all sorts of awards. And then I, I think she has uh, another series which is yet to come out now. Um, uh, and uh, All Things Great and Small, I think that's what it's called. But um, she, you know, she will never be forgotten. And she is a dame, and she wrote the best book ever called No Stone Unturned, about the worst reviews actors have ever had. And I thought it was the most brilliant book ever. So um, she was a shining star, and um, she's gone too soon, but with great dignity, always. Dame Diana Rigg. And Dame Diana herself spoke about how um, how difficult it was how to succeed on a Blackman. Talk us through how you must have felt. Of course, you spoke about those incredible scenes on the on the staircase when you succeeded her in the Avengers. But how do you make a role like that then your own after after following somebody like Dame Diana? Well, I think um, the the great asset I had is that I, I was younger and I fought to be Miss Tara King um, because I thought it was much more decent for a single girl to be there um, than a married woman because they'd both been Mrs. Kathy Gale and Mrs. Emma Peel. Um, and did you know that Emma Peel meant man appeal? Because I only learned that a few <laughs> years ago, <laughs> which I thought was quite amusing. But of course, I was so young, I was 21, so I really didn't know what I was getting into and I hadn't seen the series on television. So, you know, um, uh, ignorance is bliss and I was very young and optimistic. Um, but I went into it full of hope and, and, and youthful spirit. And Diana gave me all sorts of good advice um, about just looking up to Patrick and learning from him, as we both did. And he, you know, took me under his wing and treated me beautifully. And uh, he and, and Diana were great, great friends and, until the end. I love that line about man appeal. What is really fantastic also is that Dame Diana, the longevity of her career, uh, appearing in Game of Thrones, such a such a huge series, and again such a strong character, amazing strong character. And then and then Victoria, of course, playing her grandmother. Um, and Diana didn't care about you know what she looked like on camera. She was going to be the character. She did briefly, as I think as some of us know, go to America and do a series there. I think it was called hospital um and and it, it was not well received and and she couldn't stand the place and she literally never went back so i thought that was quite a quite a powerful move not to give the united states a second chance <laughs>
Linda Thorson, on that note, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for sharing your memories. Lovely to speak to you, Linda Thorson, there, who, of course, succeeded Dame Diana in The Avengers. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.